Hey everyone, here's another game from the CCC9 Gauntless Bonus Free Tournament between Leela Chess Zero, who's playing white in this game, against Turbofish, who's playing black. The game begins from the book with d4, f5, knight c3, d5, bishop g5, and now g6, and this is where the book ends. And this is a Dutch defence with an unusual second move for white, with knight c3. So already it feels to me like white's got a slight edge here just due to the fact he's controlling the dark squares. And no computer evaluations don't favour the moving of this f-pawn. So we'll see what Leela can do with this opening. So straight away she plays f3, preparing moves like e4, targeting the centre straight away. This allows the bishop maybe to drop back to f2 at a later date as well if it's ever harassed by these h6 and g5 pawns. So in the game Turbofish attacks the bishop with h6. But actually, Leela drops Bishop back to f4, just controlling this nice e5 square, and could jump to it, into it at any moment, to be fair. If black plays g5, for instance, Leela could play Bishop e5 and hit the rook. If the rook moves, now white can just crash in with e4 and target this d5 pawn. If black plays e6, then white can play h4, and already I feel like white's got a really nice initiative here. Black could continue maybe with knight c6, but then just maybe e takes f5. After knight takes e5, just take. Now if black takes again, white can play queen d2 and castle queen side and threaten to take on g5 with the pawn because this h6 pawn is pinned by this rook. After bishop f4 though, I think black played a good move. Knight to f6 played instead of g5. And Leela continues with developing with queen d2. So this f3 move that was played by white is really handy because it stops the knight jumping into e4 and even g4. So that's a nice setup for white at the moment. a6 is played by Turbofish, preparing move b5. And Leela just now castles queenside, developing. Turbofish gains some space on the queenside with b5. And now Leela comes up with a really nice move, queen e1, preparing move e4 and crashing in to the centre. Bishop b7 is played, maybe to hold up e4, but Leela can just play this anyway, and she crashes in with e4. Black captures with the d-pawn, f takes, and now knight takes e4. Now there's two candidate moves that white can play here. In the game, Leela played d5, but maybe knight takes e4 is also possible. After bishop takes, white can play queen g3, hitting two pawns at once. If g5, white can play bishop to e5, hitting the rook again. If the rook moves to h7, White can play knight to e2 to develop. And after knight d7, white can play h4. White's actually a pawn down in this moment, but has really nice development and good dynamic piece play, especially this bishop on e5. And I don't think black wants to take that h pawn, so if g4, white can play knight c3, and suddenly they're hitting the bishop on e4. Knight to f6 reinforces. But now white can take on f6. And after bishop d3, captures twice. White's hitting this f5 pawn which is incredibly weak. Queen d7 does defend but after rook hf1 castles and rook takes f5. White is clearly better in this position. Mainly due to the fact that black's got loads of weak pawns all separated from one another and white's structure is incredibly strong here. White has a simple plan of just been playing rook to f1 and start attacking this f6 pawn and this g4 pawn. In the game though, Leela played another strong move. She played d5 here, and Turbofish played bishop to g7, hitting the knight on c3. So Leela takes on e4, f takes, and now queen takes. After queen takes e4, queen g6 is threatened with check, so black castles, and now hits the rook on f4, so the queen can't move because it's guarding it. Knight h3 may have been an option here for white, so protect the bishop on f4, and now hits g6 again. But black here can play a really clever move and play e5. This is because the d-pawn is pinned. So on pass on isn't an option here. So white's option is to retreat the bishop back to e3. Queen d6 defends the g6 pawn. But white can play bishop to d3 and hit g6 once again. Black can take on d5, attacking the queen. But then white can finally take on g6. And once they trade, bishop takes g2 hitting the rook and the knight, but luckily this sort of favours white now, rook hg1, bishop can take the knight, but then rook g3 hitting the bishop again, 
if the bishop retreats to say d7, bishop e4 hits the rook and now white's repairing to double rooks on the g-file. Bishop c6 blocks this but after bishop takes, knight takes, finally white can take on h6. If rook f7, rook dg1 and eventually after rook f8, black loses their piece, rook takes g7. So it's equal material, white's finally got that piece back. But after king h8, white is definitely slightly better in this position. And an engine like Lila could definitely convert this game. Here though, Lila decides to play knight to f3 rather than knight h3. Turbofish played knight d7, developing. And Lila plays queen e3, hitting the h6 pawn. So Turbofish plays a dynamic move now. They let Lila take on h6, so they play knight b6, attacking white's d5 pawn. Bishop takes h6 is played. So the pawn material is now equal, but black's probably going to win the d5 pawn. However, black's king side is an absolute wreck at the moment. And the king looks really unsafe. Queen d6 is played by Turbofish. And Lila plays bishop takes g7. King takes g7 is played. And Lila actually just gives up the pawn on d5 with bishop to d3. So Turbofish captures this pawn, attacking the queen, and Lila plays queen d4 with check. e5 may have been an option here to block. Uh, after queen takes e5, takes, takes, and knight to f4. Again, the material favours white now. So white's a pawn up, and but black is actually hitting the g2 pawn twice. If white protects this, black can play rook a, e8, hitting the knight. If g3 take on d3, the knight recaptures, and um, black could potentially play rook to e2 here. Again, white is a pawn up in this position, so you would expect Lila to convert the end game. So maybe this is why Turbofish didn't go in for that. Instead they played rook to f6 in this position, and Lila now puts pressure on this d5 knight with bishop to e4. So this pins the knight because now the bishop on b7 is x-rayed. Turbofish plays queen f4 check, and Lila blocks with rook d2, preparing to double rooks. And c5 is played by Turbofish, hitting the queen on d4. Obviously if white takes on c5, black's queen can take the bishop on e4. So queen e5 is forced. And Turbofish now captures, white recaptures, and rook d8 to hold this knight together. Lila doubles rooks, but now Turbofish also doubles to protect the knight. Uh, but Lila plays a really clever move now. She realises that the knight is still pinned. Knight d3 is played, and the knight is still pinned due to this bishop attacking the b7 bishop. So bishop c8 is played by Turbofish, but this allows white to win another pawn. Just knight takes c5, and now white is a pawn up. Turbofish plays knight to e3, and Lila just captures now on d6. If rook takes d6 here, Lila can play rook to e1, hitting the knight. And if it jumps to c4, white can play a4. And if like king f7, white can play bishop to f3. And if black takes on a4, the white knight can just recapture. After bishop d7, knight c3, white is just a clear pawn up in an endgame. And it has to be said, white's pieces look a lot better as well. And black's pawn structure is absolutely terrible with three pawn islands. And these pawns are susceptible to an attack. So here Turbofish didn't take the rook with the rook, they captured with the pawn instead, e takes d6, and Lila hits with rook d3, hitting the e3 knight. Also the pawn d6 is also pinned, even though it's hitting the knight on c5. Knight c4 is played, but then Lila plays b3 to hit it again. Turbofish plays rook to e8 to attack the bishop, and now also the d6 pawn is attacking the knight on c5. But Lila just captures on c4 calmly. If black plays b takes c4 here, hitting the rook, then rook takes d6 just holds everything together because the knight protects the bishop on e4. So in the game, Turbofish took the knight off. Bishop c6 is played by Lila, hitting the rook. Turbofish plays b takes c4. After bishop takes e8, black takes on d3, and white recaptures on d3. So basically... White is now just a full pawn up in a bishop end game of the same colour. Uh, this should be a very convertible win for white now, you would expect. King f6 was played, 
king b2 and now g5 king c3 and king e5 white played bishop to f7 bishop f5 is played and now king c4 to hit the pawn king d6 defends but white plays d4 now I think black should just take this pawn on d4 but in the game black decides to play bishop to b1 threatening bishop takes a2 but this gives white now a chance to win another pawn just d takes c5 after king e5 if you just play king b4 and the pawn is just protected by the bishop so black's just lost another pawn for nothing king d4 by turbo fish and now Lila starts launching a pawn up the board c6 bishop e4 hits two pawns but now c7 threatening to get a queen on c8 bishop f5 guards the square but this frees the king up to move to a5 attack another pawn bishop c8 defends and um, white just drags their king up to b6 a5 is played white could play king takes a5 here and even after king c5 and bishop e8 white's still winning this position with ease instead though bishop e8 was played by leela king e3 now from turbo fish g3 from leela after king f2 king a7 King g2, king b8, hitting the bishop. The bishop moves to e6. White plays h4. Black takes on g3, and Lila just takes on g5. King f4 to chase this pawn. After g6, bishop f5, g7, bishop e6. Lila should now just play c8 and get a queen. And um, once captures, just captures. White's going to get a queen. Easy win. But she decides to struggle on for some reason. Bishop c6. King e5, um, and eventually bishop c4 even. She Leela sacrifices her own bishop for a, a second. Bishop takes c4, she gets a queen on c8. Bishop captures an a2. Leela gets another queen. Takes, takes, a4. Queen e8, a3. Queen f8, and Leela takes the pawn. And now it's just a master of technique, as they say. And Leela wins a queen and king endgame with checkmate. So this was a very nice game from white. I particularly like this e4 move. And it just opens the center up for white. And just leads to nice dynamic piece play. So after takes in the center, queen takes. Black's king side is just really wrecked. Juice is opening quite frankly. So the g6 pawn is under attack. I don't really think there's much turbo fish could do other than castle in this position. So in this position it's no surprise that Leela went on to win. Just because black's pawn structure is just incredibly weak here. These pawns are terrible. And Leela is a very strong engine so it no, doesn't surprise me that she managed to pick apart this position. But anyway I hope you enjoyed the analysis. Please drop a like, comment or subscribe to the channel for more chess videos in the future. I'll see you next time.